Okay, so I'm going to show you how to remove an aluminum window out of a uh, cinder block home. Now, these are old aluminum um, windows, and the, the first thing you want to do is get a tool like this. I hope that's focusing, and I hope I'm not blinding you with the reflection. But anyway, I think it's called a painter's multi-tool, like a five-in-one. So it's got kind of a sharp edge here. And then this is just like a scraper, a uh, little nail puller here. But anyway, this is the tool you want. And on these panes of glass, you don't want to bust them out because um, this is not uh, tempered glass. So uh, what ends up happening is it just shatters all over the place. So you want to take each one of these panes out one by one. And the first thing you want to do is here, these are set in with... Um, plastic trim instead of uh, window putty or glazers putty I think it's called so this will be a little bit easier um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sharp edge and I'm gonna put it in between not not the plastic and the glass but between the plastic and the this is a little piece of aluminum that separates the two panes of glass so I'm gonna set it inside there kind of push it in there use it a little bit like a pry bar or a screwdriver. And then you just want to drag it along that bottom just to release it because it's kind of clipped into that little piece of aluminum. And then what you can do, is you can just let it go like that, pull it up. Now, hopefully it doesn't break because if, if it does, and you'll see some that will break on me, um, but they're a little bit more challenging uh, to, to get out. Let me put some gloves on real quick, just in case one of these panes break. So I've done several of these windows so far, and I haven't had any of the panes break on me, but that's not to say they won't while I'm on video. So once that's released, then you want to use the flat part it out like that now I recognize there's probably only eight of you in the world that want to know this information but for those eight I'm your man and just to be clear these little plastic strips are on all four sides of the window and before you try to take a pane out you want to make sure all four uh, pieces all four of those trim pieces are out um, if you try to take it out before uh, you get all the trim pieces out, you're going to break the glass. So it's better just to, to be a little bit patient and go ahead and get it all out. See, that one broke on me. So it's going to take just a little extra time here. And again, you can hear that clicking. This is, let me show you what a piece of this looks like. So I think it's called Z channel or something like that. But those clicks that you hear, I, act, I don't have this tool. It's not contacting the glass. And that's really important because this, this glass will chip and break. Um, so you, when you're prying on it, you only want to be under the plastic, not the, not the glass at all. So this is the last one on this pane. You'll notice I'm holding the glass because it'll just fall out on you. Just like that. And then you'll notice it's kind of stuck in here because the channels of the glass, or I'm sorry, the channels, this aluminum piece on the window, actually the window frame itself want to keep it in so you've got to kind of maneuver it slowly around to get it out and I won't bore you guys with the details of all of doing all of these but I did want to show you at 
at least one and show you how it comes out. So see, there's the pain, not broken. Good. All right, so I'll keep doing this and then once I get all the glass panes out, I'll come back and I'll show you how we get the frame out. Okay, so now we've got all the panes out. Didn't break any, so that's good. Um, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to get these, uh, the actual window frames out and then, um, or at least the pane frames, and then we'll work on getting the, the frame out of the, uh, out of the cinder block. So the first thing we want to do is you've got these really thin ones. You can just pull those out. And we've got this one up here. Just pull that out. Now, this centerpiece and this, what used to be the bottom window, um, these are a little bit tricky to, to get out. Um, so you could cut them uh, with a sawzall. That'd probably be the fastest way. Um, but I don't have any metal blades right now for my sawzall. And it's, everybody's already closed. So I'm gonna use this. Um, it's, uh, it's the non-electric version of a sawzall. This may get a little loud. So it's got this kind of unique jaw in it. that one now with this frame um, when you start beating on it it's gonna bend up and get hung up um, the other thing I forgot to do that I'm gonna have to come back to you is let me show you so right up here you need to take those screws out because what those do is those hold in this track system um, that helps raise and lower the window so you've got one on both sides, just a little Phillips head. You'll take that out and then um, this track will, will come out and it'll probably spin and because it's kind of spring loaded. So let me get that and I'll come right back. Okay, now that we got the, those two screws out and now the, the tracks will, uh, are not connected anymore. Um, again, we're gonna use the, the green energy version uh, of a, Sawzall. I'm just going to try to bend these in a little bit and make it smaller than the track so we can just pop them out. Another good thing to think about when you're doing this is eye protection. Okay, so that loud noise that you hear is that um, this sort of spring-loaded uh, device that thing you can see one over my shoulder so now we've got to get the uh, the actual frame itself out and for this this is actually part of the reason I wanted to do this video. I saw one of these tools a couple of years back. And uh, at the time they were called extractor. Um, now I can't, I, I don't have any idea what they're called. But I ordered it uh, from DIY hyphen net.com something like that i'll put a link in the description for you but anyway so so basically what this is um it's a pretty interesting little tool basically what it does is it gives you leverage so you've got these two uh vice grips and what we'll do and you'll see here in just a second but we'll clip them just to the edge of the uh the frame the window frame this piece here We'll sit like so and then um, we'll actually push 
the, the leverage handle uh, away from the window and what it'll do is it'll pull this out. Again, just like on the frame, it'll make it smaller uh, because it'll collapse it in and then we'll be able to pull it out. A couple of things. Uh, number one, this tool works. Um, there are a couple of problems with it. Um, so again, I paid for this. I, I think it was like 250 bucks or something like that with, uh, with shipping. And I would highly recommend it. If you've got more than one aluminum window to take out of a home, buy this thing or make one of these. Um, so it, it came with this sort of black uh, rubber diamond plate type material. Um, you, you see most of it's off because most of it was off when I took it out of the package. Um, the, this is obviously a home-built device um, and it works, but the quality is just really goofy. I think if he would just spend the time and effort to um, maybe use not Harbor Freight uh, vice grips um, and not worry about the plastic stuff that just falls off immediately, um, he'd probably do better. Um, but anyway, all that to say, the thing works. Uh, I've got another house where it's a brick home uh, wood frame and it has aluminum windows and I've tried to take these aluminum windows out without one of these actually I've taken I think four out and it is an absolute one-day job just just to get everything done so um, it takes about um, a day without one of these to get one of these windows out now when you see me pulling on this the the one thing that I want to point out is because this is set in mortar in, in a cinder block home, uh, there's no nails in the nailing fins. So you'll see the fins as I pull this out, but it does have fins, but there's no nails. So it's gonna maybe look a little bit easier um, than what you might find in a wood frame house. Um, this, this device will still work uh, because it'll pull the nails out um, with, the, with the nailing fin. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so. Let me, uh, let me get set up here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm gonna work this from the inside um, just because uh, I've got this funny um, drainage right here, uh, or sill rather. Um, so I've got more area on the inside, but basically what you do is get that one set. And, and what you're doing is you're just getting the, uh, the vice grips on this tiny lip right here. Um, you don't wanna do it on a, on a big piece of the frame. Um, you just wanna get it just on the lip. And once it's set, so this foot is on the inside, and now I'm gonna push down on the handle, which is gonna push up on here. So then we'll release it. And then we'll do this on each four of the sides. And you can see how it's already pulling out here. It's making the window frame smaller um, by collapsing it in. So that way we can just pull it out. you guys can see this. I don't know if the camera is set quite right. There's that. Now we'll come to this other side. Is it awkward to use? Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Um, but does it work? Yeah, it does work. So 
So all said and done, this total job to remove uh, this window with the, um, all of the trim for the panes of glass uh, to get this frame out and everything will probably take me about 30 minutes. So it's pretty quick. So again, we're just gonna get it on just a lip, just a tiny lip. Looks like our vice grips have loosened just a little bit. There we go. So you saw one pop off. That was not a function of a design flaw with the tool. That was just because I got lazy and didn't tighten the vice grips just enough. All right. So now let me go ahead and pull this. I really should have pulled right here in the center. Uh, of this frame to, to take up the most space, but in an effort to try to make sure you guys could see it on the other frame that I had, the other shot that I had going, uh, I did a little bit too low. So now, here is where it would be really easy just to take a sawzall and just cut right here and then everything would come out. But again, I don't have any metal blades, so we're going to have to use the green version again. Once you get one corner, things start going pretty fast. And that is how you remove an aluminum window from a cinder block house. Not too bad, huh? Um, anyway, like I said, I'm not sponsored by the whatever it used to be called, extractor. I don't know what it's called now. Um, I paid for it, but I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick couple of tips. It's a great tool that works. It's a huge time saver. Um, is it as good as it could be? No, but it still works. Um, and uh, so anyway, I hope that helps.